Watch how Dr. Zakir Naik challenges a Christian woman during a heated exchange in his Qatar 2022 lecture. Part 1. Yes, sister, most welcome. Can I have your name and your profession and a question, sister? All right, so my name is Rose and I work for Qatar Airways. My question is, I've heard you talk about religion so much and I'll speak of the Bible because that's what I'm aware of. You say, you talk of Jesus as religious leader. But as far as I'm concerned, Jesus did not come to introduce any religion. Neither is he a religion, religious leader. What Jesus introduced in this world was the kingdom of God. The second question, maybe you can elaborate, uh, which religion is God? Because as far as I do research, I've come to understand that Jesus, who is my Lord and my Savior, he did not introduce any of those. He introduced the government of heaven. In other words, he wanted to colonize the world like, with heavenly power. There is a lot of controversies. The other question is... Sister, please pose one question at a time. I already posted two questions. After the answer, you can ask the next question. Okay. One question at a time. The sister has two questions, and I believe the sister is a Christian. She said that I said Jesus was a religious leader. I never said that. I never ever said Jesus, peace be upon him, was a religious leader. I said he was a messenger of God. There's a world of a difference between messenger of God and religious leader. A messenger of God is far superior. We have many religious leaders in the world today. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. And you said in your question that he is your Lord and your Savior. Yes. First, let me tell you, sister. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe, including yourself, that we come to know from a question, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Let me remind you, sister, I'm a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If, sister, you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, a single unambiguous statement, from anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I, Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. I have heard you, sir, saying that. I am not times. speaking on behalf of the other Muslims. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. There and is not a single unequivocal statement. Hear my question clearly. Hear my challenge clearly, sister. There is not a single unambiguous statement not a single unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Yes, sister. I have an answer to that, sir. Yes, in the book welcome. of John, the Bible says that in the beginning was the word, the word was God and the word was with God and the word became flesh. What I want you to wait, know wait, is wait, that... Wait, 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 sister. That does not fulfill my challenge at all. You, you name the book, I will give you reference. You are quoting from Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one. And the word became flesh is verse number 11, 12, 13. You are quoting only the book, I am giving you chapter number, verse number. I, answer but, me, wait, wait, the I'm, word became God. But what does that full, say? Sister, were these the words spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him? And the answer is no. What is my challenge? Not a single unequivocal statement. 
not a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says. Himself says means that should be in red letter. There is something called as red letter Bible. If you are a Christian, you may be aware of it. Red letter means Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself said. Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1 to 13 is not in red. I'll answer it. Wait, 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 I'll answer it. First of all, you have not fulfilled my challenge. It should be Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says. These are not the words of Jesus. It is the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. Correct? It's the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. And John. never ever did he claim divinity for this. Yet, I will help you. What does it say? In the big, anyway, your quotation wasn't correct. I will give you the verbatim quotation. Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one says, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. And later on it says the word became flesh. If you agree that the word is God, and if you change word is to God, in the beginning was word becomes in the beginning was God, and God was with God, do you mean to say there were two gods? No, because let, the word let of me God, complete. sir. Let me complete. You pose the question. You pose the question. I'm taking. You don't off. allow people to give answers. You are. You pose the question. I'm giving the answer. After I finish the answer, you can speak. You can't interrupt. Did I interrupt you when you were speaking? Did I interrupt? Yes or no? Now, no. when I'm giving the answer, why are you interrupting? Let me finish the answer. Then you can answer. Point number one: You didn't fulfill my challenge. It is not the word of Jesus. Your whole argument goes out. Yet I'm answering. You did not tell, you should say, sorry, Dr. Zakir, it is not the word of Jesus. Did you say that? No. You are not honest. Tell to the, tell to the audience, these are not the words of Jesus, peace be upon him. Am I right or no? You don't know, see? Like, share and subscribe to Truth Shall Prevail.